From spells of retribution to weapons of mass destruction, here are the top 10 unlockables for player killing. Coming in at number 10, we have the Kiln Cape. Uh, the Kiln Cape is uh, acquired by completing the Fight Kiln, uh, which basically requires you to do the Fight Caves, get a Fire Cape, sacrifice that, and then do an even more challenging version. And it's basically used a cape with a high strength bonus that's a lot of fun to mess around with, and that is why it's number 10 on this list. It's not that practical, uh, but it is a lot of fun to mess around with if you want Dem Hits Dough. Okay, coming in at number 9, we have the Dominion Gloves. Uh, so, these Dominion Gloves are accessed after completing a large, large portion of the Dominion Tower. Um, and pretty much what they do is they are level 80 gloves for range, mage, and melee uh, that have a 5% chance of dealing an extra 25% more damage uh, and they also bind the target in place. So it's just very helpful, they're great for whatever combat style you're using and you've got a chance of pulling off an amazing phenomenal hit with them, so that's why they're number 9. Coming in at number 8, we have the Piety Prayer. Uh, so here's a quick comparison between Piety and Turmoil. Uh, just to say that it's quite similar. Uh, it's an 8% boost instead of a 10% boost. It drains your prayer points quite a bit slower, and it's a lot easier to get. Uh, to get Piety, all you need is you need to have completed the Merlin's Crystal quest in that series, um, all the way up to Holy Grail quest, uh, as well as the Night Waves minigame, which is a really easy minigame. Uh, and it only requires level 70 prayer, so if you don't have the bank to get 95 prayer for Turmoil, uh, Piety is a great alternative. Coming in at number 7, we have the Imbued Rings. Uh, now, you're probably thinking, why was the Kiln Cape 10 whereas the Imbued Rings are number 7? Uh, well, I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, the Imbued Rings are obtained by doing about 20 hours of the Mobilizing Armies minigame, so it's quite a long uh, journey to get, but they have some great strength bonus, and here's the, the best part about them. Uh, they don't protect over something like an AGS where a Kiln Cape would, uh, so you can take them for some, some added strength bonus, some extra combos, extra hits, uh, without having to risk your special attack weapon, whether or not you wanted to. Coming in at number 6, we have the Recipe for Disaster Gloves. Uh, these gloves are, are uh, unlocked by completing the Recipe for Disaster quest. Uh, my personal favorite or preference are the Gloves 8, which are the Rune Gloves, because they're only 5k each, and they're pretty much the same stats as Rock Shell Gloves. Uh, but if you want to splurge and spend 100k on some Barrows Gloves, uh, feel free to do that as well. They're categorized as Type All, they've got a great strength bonus no matter what combat style you're using, and they're just great overall gloves to have for PKing. Okay, number five, we have the Ancient Curses. Uh, so the Ancient Curses I'm speaking of are, are Turmoil and Soul Split. Uh, Turmoil, as I showed a little earlier, is the best combat boosting uh, prayer in the entire game, and it requires level 95 prayer. And Soul Split requires level 92 prayer, and it is pretty much the ultimate PKing prayer. Um, it siphons off uh, based on your hits. It siphons off their hit points and gives it back to you, so you heal with it. Uh, it also smites out the prayer points based on your hits, <laughs> so... It is, it is a great prayer to have, so pretty much it's it's the ultimate PKing curse. Coming in at number 4, we have the Chaotic Weapons. Uh, the Chaotic Weapons are unlocked at level 80 Dungeoneering with 200,000 Dungeoneering tokens. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the two-handed ones because they're the most useful for player killing, uh, and as you can see, they just hit so high that even if the person's using Bruise, you can't eat through that, and it is absolutely incredible how much damage and how many kills you can get with the Chaotic Weapons. Uh, in this clip, I've got a Chaotic Spear, it's got the exact same stats as a Chaotic Maul, uh, but overall, the Chaotic Weapons are just so good for KOing people with. Uh, whether you PK with it as a standalone or you just kind of switch to it, uh, the hits you will get with it are absolutely incredible, and it is a phenomenal weapon uh, for killing people, and that is why it is number four on this list. Coming in at number 3, we have Overload. So, Overloads require level 96 Herblore, and the great thing about them is not only do they boost uh, your stats up as high as any potion in the game, uh, but they also re-boost them to that amount every 15 seconds. So what this means is that if you get rushed, or uh, you need to tank some, some big specs or whatever, uh, you basically, you don't need to uh, restore after you brew. So basically, it saves some money because you don't need to restore every time you brew, and you don't need to repot either, uh, which is great for kind of swinging the fight around and getting right back into it. Coming in at number 2, we have the Enhanced Excalibur. So the Enhanced Excalibur is unlocked after completing the Elite Series Village tasks, and it is a level 70 offhand that only costs 500 GP. Need I say more? Probably not. 
uh, but it also has a special ability uh, by right clicking on it in the equipment tab uh, that actually heals you 400 hit points as well so on top of a very inexpensive level 70 offhand uh, it also heals you some good HP, so it's great for after a fight if you've killed the person. Uh, if you don't want to waste waste some money on food eating your eating your HP up, just use the Excalibur spec and you're good to go. And at number one, you could probably guess it, uh, but we have the Vengeance spell. So the Vengeance spell requires the completion of the Lunar Diplomacy quest as well as level 94 magic. And pretty much what it does is you can use it every 30 seconds and it deflects 75% of the damage that the person fighting you hits on you back at them. It is absolutely phenomenal as you can see in these clips uh, for, for killing people. You, get, you can even get people to kill themselves with it, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and almost every kill that anyone gets in the wilderness, uh, and I, I speak from experience, uh, is because of this curse. It is so great for comboing, so great for assuring these kills, because you can basically stack uh, like 700, 800 damage in a single game tick with this spell. Uh, and here are just a ton of clips. These are n not even as many clips as I had. I had about 50 or 60 clips I could have put in here, but I just took some <laughs> some of the random ones. Uh, Vengeance is absolutely amazing uh, for killing people, and that is why it is number one on this list. Uh, that being said, you gotta be careful, you gotta watch out for it, uh, and you'll see in the clip after this one exactly why. So here's what happened, uh, I was using the Zamrock Godsword, the special attack on the Zamrock Godsword stuns the person you're fighting, so as a joke I decided, you know what, I'm gonna run under him. Now while I was underneath this guy, he venged even though I couldn't see that he venged, and I ended up killing myself. Uh, so that is just part of the destructive power that Vengeance has, and that is why it is number one on this list. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts of things that I left off this list or things that should have been on this list or things that should have been in different spots on this list, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd love to have a discussion with that. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And peace.